Hello, welcome back. Um, new video. We're going to look at Mystical Britannia today. Um, and we're looking at Mionye, um, which is a requirement for the All the Mod Star. So if I come in and look at my quest book under All the Mod Star, under this one here, it requires you to have the, the Mionye. Now, I'm going for two blocks of stars, so I needed 18 of them. Um, but you only need one if you're only going to go after this one star. Um, Mionye is part of Mystical, Ag uh, Mystical Britannia and is not very well looked up um, in JEI. Um, let's see if we can find it. That's looking for... Uh, that's Mystical. Mythical. Um, so here... Um, there's Mionye here, um, but it just gives you this ritual, which is all well and good and fabulous. However, it doesn't really explain to you what it is you actually need to complete and get the Mionye. So what we're going to do in this video is a step-by-step -step tutorial um, on the grounds that you know how to get the runes through Britannia itself. Um, I will list out the the runes that you need and how many of each you need and how to then get this rune um, tablet of Fimbulatia. Totally, totally ruined that. But how to get this, um, this rune here. Um, because again, if we try and find that here, it I'm left clicking and it does nothing. It's not showing me anything apart from this ritual. So it doesn't actually give us much information in the JEI. Equally, the book, um, the Lexica Britannia, when you unlock that by throwing it through the Elven portal, again, doesn't really show you um, much about how you get this, um, this beautiful little hammer um, and what you need to do. So we're going to sit here and show you exactly how to get Mionye and how to pick it up because you can't just pick it up. So let's move over to the creative world and I will show you the layout. Okay, so back over into our creative world, as you can see, there's all our structure from previous videos. Um, a little hut for my shorts. Um, this is us with a, a very, very basic bot, uh, Britannia setup. Um, this one here is running with endo flames and some elven mana spreaders. And just some normal mana pools with uh, a mana splitter in the middle. Uh, and they're being fed by, uh, in this instance, a barrel with a load of coal blocks, which this create funnel spits out one at a time, and these endo flames burn as and when they need them. Um, as you can see, it's running right now. It's because I've just used this pool here, uh, so it needs to top itself back up. You would need to have gone through Britannia, uh, Britannia um, before moving on to trying to get the Mionye um, simply because you need uh, mana pools you need a good source of mana I've got the greater band of mana you can use mana tablets um, the the benefit over the greater mana banner is that it's um, it holds a lot more mana for you so you don't have to do one and then go back wait for it to top up come back do another one this holds, I think, if memory serves me, it does at least five um, rituals before it then needs to have um, have it retopped up again. So having a, a decent uh, source of mana would be uh, needed. Um, if you are unaware of how to set up to get your runes, which you should have done by now because you would have gone through Batania um, with this basic setup here, However, this is the rune, uh, runic altar, and you need mana for this. So I've got two just very standard uh, mana sp uh, spreader just sitting on top of a, an apothecary. Uh, it doesn't do anything apart from look pretty. You don't have to have anything under it. This will just sit there. Um, and that's being fed again by endo flames and our little coal setup. That then feeds this to get you your runes. Depending on your recipes, you'll need to look into that. Uh, this one here is pointing towards our branch of 
something you can see at the top of the screen i'm not even going to try and butcher that one you're going to need to do this before you start anything else um so make sure you can get yourself a, a mana spreader with um, all of the uh, endo flames powering it and if we get our wand you can see that is full um, and i've linked that to our our branch here uh, the branch i believe uh, comes from um elderwood uh, where are we branch is it going to be in here is it going to be nice and easy um no okay. that's because i spelt it wrong there we go that's a bit more like it so yes so you get your living wood logs and some terra steel nuggets gives you your branch here these again you should have gone through uh but Botania um, and made your elven portal which require these uh, types of logs so you should have already got those to make your your little branch once you get your branch um, place it down and link your mana spreader make sure your wand is in binding mode as you can see if I go here on the white you can see just above the hot bar it says that it's in binding mode to change that you just shift um, and then just right click uh, until you get binding mode up and then shift right click and shift right click and then it binds that to together now once you've got your log um you will need uh one of these little horny looking things um let's see if we can find ourselves an empty one there again i am not going to try and butcher that um you need to uh, fill this up this has got its own little uh, oh, it does that again, doesn't it? Um, its own little progression to get to that horn. Um, you've got to make a horn of the wild, um, which is pretty simple. A pasture seed makes a horn of the wild. Um, you can do all sorts of things with it. But what you're ending up with is this uh, this horn here, which you have to then, so the, the, the horn of the wild then gets thrown into the mana pool. Hence, you need to have gone through Batania then gives you this little horn here you just right click on here and then it'll kick off the mana and as you can see here we are now dripping um branch goo i think i'm going to go with branch goo into our horn and you'll know when it's full because you'll get the the little blue um pool in that end of that horn and um, so we just give that a second it doesn't take very long at all um especially if you've got a good source of mana um i don't know if this tells you yes it does so the branch has got quite a lot of mana and it. it's been sat there for a little while so once you've then got your uh, your full horn um this then changes to the uh, water from the well of mimar mimir 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 we're gonna go with mimir um i've already done it so when i drink this it will tell me uh, you've already gained the knowledge of the Well of Minimar. So you only need to do this here process once. Um, you don't have to continually do it. It's just a one-time thing. Um, so I wouldn't go all full in to make your own little dedicated setup. This was purely to show you. Um, in my playthrough that I'm doing on the server, I've actually just chucked it here and linked one of these matter spreaders to it. Now, once you've done that, um, you're... You've got all your runes uh, from your runic altar. Oh. Okay, so there was a runic altar. Um, you, you will end up with all of your runes. Now, I've made this board here just to show you where all your runes need to go. Um, if I take away the GI, uh, if you want to pause it and look here, you can see exactly what it is that you need. Let's move forward just a little bit. Um, and there is the layout. Um, you're going to need four wraith runes, four pride runes, four earth runes, four air runes, one Jungheim rune, one Asgard rune, one Nidevelier, Nidevelier rune, and a tablet of Fimum goes in the middle. Um, that rune, um, that tablet, can only be obtained after you've drunk from the well which is what we've just done there and then gone and fought the second tier Gaia which is with the Gaia spirit ingot not the Terra steel ingot um, and it is a chance of dropping multiple in one sitting 
I think the most I got was three in one sitting on my server world. Um, but this is uh, needing to be Gaia number two, which is, again, with the Gaia spirit ingot, not the terror steel ingot. When you kill him, he then drops these. If you have not drunk this and got the knowledge, you will not get these tablets. So make sure you get this and drink it so that you can get the knowledge. Gaia's fight is is what it is. It's a Gaia, you fight it, and he drops his things. Um, now, over here, again, if you want to pause, I've tried to make it as obvious as I can with where the placements of the, the pedestals need to go. Um, this is the pattern that you need. Now, there is an orientation to it when you start placing your runes. And I will go through that when I start placing the runes with you. Okay, so once you've got all your runes together, um, we've got them all sitting down here. Um, the runes are not consumed. The tablet is consumed. So once this ritual takes place, that tablet gets consumed. So depending on whether you're going for one star or you're going for two blocks, depends on how many times you need to go kill the Gaia. Um, I think I ended up killing him eight times, um, and that gave me enough for my 18 uh, tablets that I needed to then make 18 of our beautiful lightning hammers. Um, it does look pretty cool. Not quite sure about the gold bands, not quite understanding where that comes in um, because Mjolnir doesn't have that. However, this is a game. Right, so let's start placing our our runes. So on the middle goes our tablet. So let's move that out of the way. Let's start over here, the pride. So these ones are, can go um, pretty much wherever you want. I didn't get all of them out. Right. Three more of them. Right. So let's put them on these corner ones. Uh, just like you can see over here, you've got pride. They are on those sort of corner ones on the uh, on the map here. So air. I did not get enough of them either. Um, let's go with rune air. Oh. Rune air. There we go. One, two, three. Okay, so with the uh, runes of air, um, this is where it then becomes where you need to orientate where you're going to put it and decide where your top and bottom are. So here is your bottom, there is your top. You need to then decide on where you're going to put these outer ones because that then depends where you then put the uh, Jotunheim and Asgard runes. So I tend to start at one end. So if I'm starting here, uh, I'm going to have the Earth runes. Uh, there we go. One, two, three. Put that over there. Right. So I put my Earth runes at the bottom of my my altar. So if we chuck those in, as you can see, they are now at the bottom of my my little sort of display here, my my altar. Um, now the uh, again, I didn't get enough of all these out. I do apologise. Uh, so we need another one of them. So now we know that this is going to be our bottom. These ones again don't really matter where you put them as long as they're either side of your altar. Um, again, if you're going to put Earth over there, these are the same. But if you're going to put Earth and Earth, then these two will be your side ones. So as per this map, you can see that I've put my Jotunheim down here, my Earth down here. So these are on either side going up. Um, important to pay attention to that. Um, so my Jotunheim can go here. And my Asgard can go here. Now Wraith again, didn't get enough of them. There we go. One, two, three. So the Wraith are at the cardinal points. So as you can see, we've got our pride in each corner. Um, our wraith goes in the, the four cardinal directions, like so. Um, and then we are left with our air. So if we go one air, two air, three air, four air. So the, the air and earth go on the inner corners of our ritual. Um, quite important that you lay that out. Can't stress that enough. The amount of times I got frustrated in my playthrough because it kept telling me that there was something wrong with the the uh, the layouts of the runes and I couldn't figure it out until I realized it is directional so please save yourself a whole load of time just pay attention to the directions you're putting them now you will need your wand 
and we also need to give sacrifice so we need a golden ingot a red string a tiny planet um, a polished andesite and a golden pasture these all get consumed so make sure you've got these in abundance if you're going to do what i'm doing and getting multiple of the stars um these are just simply dropped next to the tablet so let's go here q q q q and q as you can see they're just bouncing around on the floor this is where your mana ring comes in uh, because you do need mana to perform this and you right click on that center one and as you can see we are now watching the beautiful ritual happen boom and there is our Mionier. and as you can see it spits all of the um the runes back out so just make sure you run around and collect them um saves you having to recollect them or remake them if you don't collect them uh, at the time and they despawn now as you can see our mana ring has done, gone down a quarter so i think i was right in saying it was five in each ring you can have multiple of these in your inventory uh, you can even put them in your curo slots uh, it will sit in there as a ring it's just a pain to keep taking it in and out when you're doing this now to pick up me on yay uh, because i'm in creative it let me do it which is a pain um, however, to pick up Mionier, you will need to eat a golden apple for saturation to be allowed to pick it up. Um, so if you give me two seconds, I'm going to reset this and go into survival so we can actually see what comes up. Okay, so now we have reset our runes um, and got our tablet on. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned, but the green tablet holder, the central rune holder, does get consumed as well as the tablet. All the others do not, but the green one, the central one, does. Right, so let's spit these back out on the floor and then start our ritual, which does look pretty awesome. The animations are awesome. But the ritual doesn't take terribly long. And then go boom. So let's go and collect all of our runes and stick them up into our inventory out of the way. Now, if I try and pick this up, you can see down the bottom there, uh, the hammer weighs way too much for you to lift it. However, it is told that the gods ate from a golden apples of Indun, Indun uh, to gain their power, which is basically telling you to eat a golden apple. So let me quickly grab a golden apple. Okay, there's one golden apple. So let's try that again. So yeah, it's saying it's way too heavy. You can't wield this. Let's eat our golden apple to get saturation. Um, as you can see, I've got absorption there and some regen. And now I can pick it up. And there we have it. There is Mionye. Um It is quite cool. So you right click it. Um, it has a cooldown. You have to wait for the cooldown. You right click on it and it flies away and then comes back to you like it does for Thor. Really cool. Uh, and then it has the, the, the sort of normal left click to smack mobs with. Um, I don't know if these snails will participate in um, our little demonstration. There we go. How cool is that? Um, let's do this one. Yeah, look at that. How cool. So that is uh, the Mionier and how to obtain it um, using Botania and mythic, Mythical Botany, I think it is, or bot Botany, something like that. Um, so yes, uh, I hope you have enjoyed this pretty long tutorial. However, I think it needed to be long to make sure you really understood where everything needed to be and what you needed to do so. Um, if you've got any comments or any questions, please do pop them in the uh, comments section. Uh, I'm always reading them to answer any questions. And um, I look forward to bringing out another one for you. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye uh, now.